This is an explanation on why you might want to use the loft surface tool um, to create um, an object as opposed to the multiple extrude tool. Um, if I was to select um, these two objects and if I was to um, run the multiple extrude command, um, Vectorworks doesn't really understand necessarily the relationship between the top object and the bottom object. And at the moment, what you get here is a best approximation, which you can adjust of how the one um, piece of geometry and the other interact together. Um, and what you see here is a, a, a kind of um, a sort of swirly uh, effect, which is the, um, the the program trying to estimate um, how to draw between one and the other. Um, what I would prefer to do on a relatively on a on a slightly less straightforward shape is to use the loft tool, which actually gives really uh, much better results. So if you if you just move that over there. Um, if we were to give this, which is the top of our beaker, um, a bit of height, let's um, say 105 uh, millimeters. And if I was then to use the loft tool, what you'll find is the loft tool won't pick up these objects because um, they need to be nerves for it to um, work. So let's just select these two objects and let's just, um, for the sake of this video, just move them over here um, and let's convert them um, to um, NURBS curves. So here we go. And now they're NURBS curves. They're also in a group which you just quickly ungroup. Um, and now if you use the loft tool and you just select the top one, and the bottom one, um, you can see that it draws a line there. And that is the tool understanding the relationship and drawing the simplest um, um, piece of geometry it can. And if you were to accept that um, preview, and there you will have a nice, simple um, uh, beaker. Now, now you could for instance, change the relationship between the top circle and the bottom polygon by, let's say, changing the slider here and preview there would create a sort of vase shape. Now you can see that that could be actually really useful. Um, but for our purposes, we're just going to keep it nice and simple. And we're going to create a solid object here. Um, so you press OK. The solid object is is created. Now let's just fill that solid object with a bit of color um, so we can see it easier. Um, what we need, need to, do, to do now is to give the um, solid object um, some internal geometry. So very quickly you use the shell command, set it to a five millimeter thickness, because um, that's roughly what a china cup would be, and press OK. And then let's just give it a little bit of um, a rounded edge there. So let's select, um, let's select the bottom first. Uh, so if we pick the bottom surface and then we pick the top surface and then you little 2.4 radius. I always try and just do a little bit less than half of um, the, the width and press OK. Then you can see that um, the edges, the external edges of the um, mug have now been filleted there. And that's very simply and very quickly how you one would create a, um, the, the basic shape for a, for a coffee mug. Thank you.